we're live. Okay, with so I just begin your recordings. Sergeant Pillai, you begin recording. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the remote hearing on aging. Will council members and staff please turn on a video at this time? Thank you. To minimize disruptions, please place all cell phones and electronics to vibrate. Chair, we are ready to begin. Good morning. I'm council member Margaret Chin, chair of the Committee on Aging, and I would like to welcome you to today's vote on a very important piece of legislation. Today, we will be voting on proposed intro number 2225A, sponsored by council member Mark Traeger. This legislation requires the city to establish a COVID-19 vaccination plan for homebound seniors. Over our last three hearings, the committee has heard a lot of testimony about how COVID-19 is impacting our seniors. We know and have talked at length about how seniors are most vulnerable to the health effects of the virus. We also know and have talked about how the pandemic is increasing the things seniors are already at higher risk for, such as social isolation, mental health issue, age-related physical ailments and fragilities and poverty. The COVID-19 pandemic has been difficult on everyone, but we must remember that it has been particularly difficult for our seniors. That is why as the city rolls out the COVID-19 vaccination, we must make sure all of our seniors are able to access vaccine and they are all getting vaccinated. Overall, 1.3 million older New Yorkers are eligible for the COVID-19 vaccine as of yesterday afternoon. However, only a little over 217,000 adults 65 and older have received at least one dose of the vaccine. This is only 16.7% of the eligible senior population. This is a very low number and means that hundreds of thousands of older New Yorkers are still at risk for COVID-19. We have so much more to work left to do. Furthermore, one of our most underserved senior groups is our homebound seniors. These older adults cannot leave their home for a variety of reasons. They often require caretakers and often have multiple health conditions that make them even more at risk for COVID-19. While much of our senior population can go to vaccine sites to receive their vaccination, our homebound seniors do not have this option. As we continue to vaccinate across the city, we cannot forget about this population. Because of this, I wholeheartedly support council member Mark Traeger's legislation proposed intro 2225A, which would require the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene or another entity designated by the mayor to create a COVID-19 vaccination plan for our homebound seniors. We must do better to get all of our seniors vaccinated. And that includes bringing vaccines to those who cannot access them at normal vaccination sites. This legislation is the first step to ensuring vaccine access for our homebound seniors. I now like to invite council member Traeger uh, to speak on this bill. Thank you. Thank you, Chair Chin. And I wanna uh, publicly thank you um, for always being a champion for our seniors, even prior to the pandemic. And certainly during this pandemic, your leadership has been exemplary. And I particularly thank you and your staff uh, for the speed 
and um, and, and the ex the expediting of uh, of this bill. Uh, it just uh, you were very helpful, Chair, to have to have it put on uh, for a hearing uh, where we heard strong support for the need for a homebound senior plan, and uh, it really speaks to your leadership of prior prioritization to get this done. So I thank you, Chair. Um, I want to thank the entire committee uh, on the vote today on intro 2225 to require the Commissioner of the Department of Health and Mental Hygiene to establish a plan to vaccinate homebound seniors. Uh, that plan would be posted on the department's website and provided to the council. The Commissioner of Health and Mental Hygiene would also be required to report to the council on implementation of the plan every two months after the plan is issued. This bill would take effect immediately after it becomes law and will mandate that a plan is issued within 30 days. According to DIFTA, there are more than 1 uh, million seniors residing in the city. The city has vaccinated over 1.5 million New Yorkers so far, prioritizing healthcare workers, essential workers, and older adults 65 and over. And yet for months, the city administration did not have a comprehensive plan to vaccinate homebound seniors one of the most vulnerable populations in our city. Here we are facing a global pandemic with tens of thousands of New Yorkers who have lost their lives and who is again, the forgotten group of people, the very group of people who need help the most. Um, we are still in this public health crisis and to be able to get across the finish line, it's critical that we address the cumbersome and confusing process to sign up and register for a COVID-19 vaccination. We also need to account for multilingual residents and provide culturally competent outreach to those communities. We have community-based organizations that are ready and willing to partner with the city's health department to provide additional sites that are easily accessible for folks and to provide that connection to help bring the services to the people directly. And we have the technology and ability to transport the vaccine to those who are homebound. Uh, before we receive our next package of vaccines, we need to prioritize the homebound senior community and act with a sense of urgency to vaccinate this high-risk population. Intro 2225 will hold the city administration accountable to codify a plan for vaccinating seniors, and it should be focused on equity and utilizing resources the city already has access to. And on a personal note, um, and, and Chair Chin also represents a district that was also hard hit by Superstorm Sandy. This is very personal for us. Many of the same folks we're talking about were folks that were uh, left behind in Sandy recovery too, uh, without power for weeks and no support and food and medicine could reach them. And we always said, you know, we can never allow this to happen again, that they would never be forgotten again. And here we are, you know, whenever the mayor announced uh, the Yankee Stadium would be open up for a vaccine site or City Field, that's very nice. But what's the plan for folks who can't get there? No fault of their own. I represent a very, you know, high need senior population in my district, people that are our veterans, our teachers, our nurses, our retired bus drivers and, and, and school staff and hospital staff, they, people who have raised our communities, our families, and we owe it to them to prioritize them, to make sure that no senior, no family is left behind. So Chair, this is personal, and I know it's personal for you too, and I just can't thank you enough for the speed and, and the prioritization of, of, of this legislation. And I ask my colleagues respectfully to please uh, support, the, support this bill. Let's get the plan to help the homebound seniors. And I thank you, Chair, again, for your leadership and for your time today. Thank you, Council Member Traeger, for your advocacy and your, your passion on this issue. And I know that we had like three hearings and we also had Council Member Holden uh, who was uh, at the hearing. Um, We've been advocating for this and the city said they have a plan, but what plan? And they try to like say, we don't need this legislation because we already have a plan. No, you don't. What is the plan? I haven't seen it. Uh, so I think this is really timely. And I also wanna thank uh, our speaker and the speaker's office for really helping to push us along and the committee staff. Um, we have been joined by council member Ayala, council member Malone, Councilmember Diaz Sr., Councilmember Powers, Councilmember Perkins, Councilmember Eugene, and Councilmember Deutsch. So I ask my colleagues uh, to vote in support of this important legislation. So can we ask the, the clerk to call the vote? Thank you. Sure, good morning. 
William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on aging. Proposed introduction number 2225A, Chair Chin. I have a lie. Eugene. I vote aye. Thank you. Deutsch. Did you get that? Aye. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Traeger. Vote aye. Valone. Vote aye and congratulations. Ayala. I vote aye. Ruben Diaz. I vote aye. Thank you. By a vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Thank you. Do we need to keep the, the roll open? No? Okay, so thank you everyone. And, uh, and congratulations, Council Member Trigger. Let's get this plan and get our seniors vaccinated. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And the hearing is now adjourned.